We can now verify the material of steel and see the current flowing through the coil volumes. The model is now ready to solve. Go to the solution menu and run the solver to get the basic default solution. Once the solution has been generated, it's possible to do an analysis to examine the solution. For convenience, we will go to a wire frame view and look at the geometry from the top, then ask Lorenz to generate a B-field arrow plot of the plane. For easier selection of the plot corners, we will select the snap grid on the XY plane. We can now see arrows representing the B-field running through the middle of the structure. You can see that the B-field is pointing upwards between the poles and downwards in the return path. We can experiment with the Field Analysis Results dialog to get other views of this plot. The log scale is a good way to view the weaker fields in the surrounding areas. These show up in a variety of colors with a log scale. Turned off, it becomes much clearer how the device will operate since the field is clearly much higher between the poles than outside. Having confirmed our field results, we can proceed to the trajectory menu. We will define the emitter using discrete points and assign the particles as cesium plus. We can now run the solver. We will see our particle of 200 volts come into the magnet, bend around in the magnetic field and exit on the other side. To make the rays show up more clearly, we will give the particle a cylindrical radius of 0.05 centimeters and rerun the solver. We can go back to the emitter's dialog and edit the initial conditions to study a few other rays. Use the insert function to generate two other identical rays and change the energy slightly for the new particles. Making the rays a little bit larger, we can now see, depending on the energy, the rays will bend by different amounts. We can also examine the focusing effect of a bending magnet. Set the energies to 200 volts and change the Y direction slightly for two of the particles. All rays bend by approximately 90 degrees, but some follow a longer or shorter path within the field and because of this have a different degree of deflection leading to the focusing. 